Oxygen OS Beta 1 is probably the biggest update that OnePlus has ever released yet. It's OnePlus's version of Android 11, so let's see what's new. Obviously, you still get most of the native Android 11 changes from Google, such as improvements to the notifications, updated permissions, nearby sharing, new transitions and animations, etc. But just like every other Oxygen OS update, OnePlus has included a few new features and design tweaks of their own, so let's check them out. Also, be sure to check out my second channel called Hatuman in Español if you like to watch my videos in Spanish. Anyways, when you first boot up, you'll immediately notice all the visual changes, dropping down the quick settings panel, jumping into the settings, and opening OnePlus apps all look different. It seems like OnePlus took the same approach that Samsung took with One UI by making every screen easier to use with one hand. Everything is dropped towards the bottom of the screen, so now there's a bunch of empty space towards the top, and the banner title is a lot bigger. It's a very controversial move because many Oxygen OS users really loved how the software wasn't that much different from stock Android. Now it seems like OnePlus is slowly moving away from that and they're trying to create their own custom theme that represents their company in a better way. I personally love the new look. I think the red, gray, and white color scheme really shouts OnePlus in all caps. Not to mention that the new font really adds to the theme by making it look a lot more modern and fun. Yes, you heard that right. OnePlus replaced the classical OnePlus slate font with a new one called OnePlus Sans. It's very similar to that of Google's Open Sans font, but it's a lot thinner. Another huge update that everyone and their mama has been asking for isn't always on display. OnePlus has finally delivered and you can now see your notifications, time, date, and battery level without even touching the screen. It's phenomenal. You can even schedule the ambient display if you don't want it shining at night. They also created a new clock style called Insight which displays the time within a visible color bar it looks abstract and fancy, but really it's just telling you phone usage information in a discreet manner. At the top of the bar displays the number of times you've unlocked the phone throughout the day, and every time you use the phone, a section of the bar gets blacked out. The longer you use the phone, the wider the blackouts will be, and as the day progresses, the time will be lowered on the colorful bar. I'm not sure if there's a meaning behind the bar's color, but if you know, please let me know in the comments. Going back to the home screen, there are a couple of new changes sprinkled within this launcher. First off, almost every OnePlus app has a new icon now and I dig it. There's also a new live wallpaper that moves around when you switch between the pages or even unlock the phone. It looks extremely mesmerizing. The shelf menu has been completely revamped. It looks a lot more exciting with the weather animation in the background and the cards are now rounded instead of completely reaching the edges. You'll also notice that some cards and other screens are dark gray instead of black and that's because OnePlus updated the dark mode throughout the entire UI. Just like Samsung's One UI, every element or menu has been themed to dark gray, while the background is still black. Honestly, it looks a lot cleaner this way, and it's a lot easier to differentiate each section, especially within the settings. On top of updating the overall dark theme, OnePlus has changed the location of enabling it. It used to be within the customization menu, but now it's under display. You can also schedule when the dark mode should be enabled. And the most exciting feature is that you can force almost any app to become dark. Before it was just a few apps within the OnePlus laboratory, but now you can flip the switch for almost any app you installed. For example, apps like Amazon, LinkedIn, eBay, VSCO, Uber, etc. can now have a dark interface without even supporting it yet. Finally, a ton of OnePlus apps have been modified, some having a new looking interface, while others have some new features. But before I move on, I wanted to take a quick moment to give a shout out to our sponsor, Dbrand, and show off some of their awesome skins. Some of the top reasons why I choose to slap a skin on the back of my phone are to get rid of those fingerprint smudges, it provides the phone with a lot of grip, and it gives it a personal look. They have a ton of textures to choose from for a wide range of devices, but my absolute favorites are the pastel skins. It makes any phone look clean, professional, and fun. If you prefer a bit more protection, Dbrand even sells grip cases that are extremely heavy duty, and you can still customize them on the back. Go to dbrand.com slash howtomen if you're interested in checking out their selections. That's dbrand.com slash howtomen. Zenmo got the biggest change and it has little to no resemblance to the older version. It now has five themes, which you can switch between each one by swiping left or right. It also has longer duration times, but I'd much rather have the option of just setting a custom number. And it has a new group feature that lets other people join in on the Zen mode session so that everyone can avoid being on their phone. To have your friends connect, you just give them the code and once they join, their phone will also be locked. Of course, as of now, this feature only works with OnePlus devices running Oxygen OS 11 Beta 1. GameSpace obtained a new feature called Gaming Tools, so whenever you play a game and enter gaming mode, 
You can swipe down from the upper right or left corner of the screen and a drop down menu will appear. This menu will let you switch on fanatic mode, open apps and floating windows such as Instagram. You can start a screen recording or even enable mistouch prevention which is also another feature that prevents you from accidentally opening the notification panel. The weather app obtained a huge design change and I'm actually not a big fan of the background's realistic forecast. I still prefer the cartoonish polygon theme. It just looks a lot more cleaner and beautiful in my opinion. I do however like the weather details are separated into cards and how you can now see a graph of where the sun is in the sky letting you know the sunrise and sunset times. Next, the gallery app no longer has tabs at the bottom, just slider indicators at the top. The notes app also looks a bit different with various new icons, color changes, and you can now view your notes in a list format. Finally, the phone app also switched to the new drop down layout and it no longer has the search bar up top. Your favorites is also displayed as rectangles instead of circles. Anyways, those are all the big exclusive changes found within Oxygen OS 11 Beta 1. If you have a OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro, you can obtain this update through the link in the description. It doesn't require root or ADB. Just make sure to follow the instructions within the OnePlus forum page and you'll get this update quickly. Either way, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a huge thumbs up and also get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. I release new videos every week with content similar to this one. Also, don't forget to check out those awesome dbrand skins through the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!